boo-boos. Um, I don't even know what to say because I was all excited about coming back on here and making a video because I just got my computer back from HP. I just got it back in the mail, like not even 10, 15 minutes ago. And so I'm all ready and excited to at least just do a quick little hey video. Want to make sure my microphone was working and picking up sound again. And it is, as you can see. Uh oh, uh -oh. Hold on. Something came up on the screen. Wait. Okay. Um, but, as you can also see, there is a glitch. Like, I have a cheap webcam. And I don't. I have an HP. So it's supposed to be top of the line. Other than Mac, I would presume. And my computer wasn't doing this before I sent it. So, now I'm upset again. Because calling HP is not the easiest thing. Um, they try to troubleshoot things for hours. And then you call back and try to troubleshoot things again. And take you through so much stuff before they'll even just send you a box and let you send in... Um, your computer so now I have to debate when do I feel like calling them because this ain't gonna cut it I had a very clear extremely great picture on when I first did my videos that week that I first got my um, computer when I did like the Mac lip gloss and all that stuff um, great I had a great picture no distortion no delay and now I do it sucks because it doesn't look clear it actually looks like a I mean not, nothing against cheap cameras but it actually looks like a cheap camera when it looked very clear and very bright and um, it's never did this delay thing that it's doing right now that mind you I can't stand watching someone's YouTube video and there's a delay so um, this, will, this might be the only video I record until I can get it fixed or maybe I'll use my camera I have internet now as well so I just got that this week again just got it back this week so maybe I'll use my camera and upload some videos that I've been dying to do so anywho I wish I could say I was back I was so excited I was like oh, I didn't know it was coming I was like oh my computer let's go FedEx man and he was like yes I was like thank you stop and now I got it, and now it's distorted, so I'm a little saddened by that. Actually, I'm a lot saddened by that, because it wasn't doing this before. So, now you know what I'm saying. Oh, I do have great news, though, to tell you guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? I have something to show you. I bet you can't guess what it is. Even closer? Wait, let's see. Can you see? It's all crooked. <laughs> and he hates when it's crooked. He's like, I'm trying to fix it. Let's see. Can you see that? See how it's distorted? My camera was not doing that at first. That's my ring. I know. Fat little fingers. There we go. And one more time this way. Yes, I got engaged. A week ago today, because today is Friday. Hopefully you'll see this on Friday. So yes, I got engaged a week ago today. Glory to God. And the wedding process, the wedding planning process has already started. Um, already trying to find somewhere to have it. At least secure the big things. And at least go ahead and get prices. Because I've never did a wedding before. You know, a lot of my friends are married. I don't know how much stuff costs because I don't know what I want, how much stuff costs because we're doing a very small wedding. When I say small, I mean like I only want like a cake and punch reception. No food. I don't want to feed y'all. For what? Mm -mm. Eat before you come. Eat when you leave. Come get some cake and some punch, possibly some fruit and some cheese. And bring presents. <laughs> Just point. No fruit, bring presents. 
and that's it like so um some pricing some things that friends i know pay for i won't um have because i'm not going to do a lot of things that um, most people do or have a lot of things that most people have i did say my dress budget was going to be cheap and now i found this dress that is not cheap it's not expensive but it's definitely over half of what i wanted to pay for it's not even double it's um like five times <laughs> three or four four five six seven times what i want to pay for this so that might be the most expensive thing anyway so yes dress shopping will be tomorrow and possibly sunday um dress shopping is already started online um what i thought i liked well what i didn't know if i like now i see some stuff that i didn't even think i was going to like and i like but i haven't tried anything on yet um really quick question i know i hate videos people are just rambling but we gotta catch up um quick question i really really need some ideas ideas see my lips some ideas ideas i need some ideas for a wedding hairstyle um i do want to keep it natural i do not want to get braids i do not want to get a sew-in or a quick weave or um none of that stuff um and the dress that i've been looking at i think flows with my um natural look um i believe it does it's sort of different but still princessy and classy but it has a slight edge to it or a slight kind of just like a popped collar looking thing that's not a collar it's like a ruffly i don't know it's kind of funky i think they think it's pretty but i think it's kind of funky and really and i love stuff that looks funky not bad funky like funky like that so um yeah i do want to keep in with the natural hairstyle i don't think i'll be locking my hair by then because i know i do eventually plan on locking maybe i'm like 50 percent sure i'm gonna eventually lock so I don't know, I was thinking about getting Nubian Twist. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen them or heard of them. I've only seen them on one person here in Dallas, where I live. <laughs> yeah, I live in Dallas. Um, they're called Nubian Twist. They are in the family of Sister Twist, but they look like locks. I mean, I thought her hair was locks. Something about it looked a little different than locks, but it definitely didn't have the kinky twist look. I, I do wear kinky twists, but I just wish they looked more natural. I really, really do. And these Nubian twists, and they're not the single these braids, because the single these braids are different. This lady told me they were called Nubian twists. She said it's the hair they use. They, I don't know, whatever. So that might be an option, because at least they're still keeping it in the natural family with the locks look. And I do want to wear one of those. Um, I don't know what it's called yet, because I haven't looked it up yet. One of those veils that are just on the side, like the little, you know, 50s little thing. The veil is like right here, like that. Hold on a second. Follow me. No, no, get come here. Sorry. Okay, yeah, I do want one of those veils on the side. So I'm thinking, I think your hair has to be up to wear that. So if that's the case, I should be cool. But. I don't think you want to do too much with your hair. You have to veil it. I think pretty much normally your hair is pulled up. So my hair can fit in a puff now. I'm sure you're from now to be able to fit in a ponytail. So I might just, I might not have to worry about anything. But if that veil doesn't go with my dress, because it might not go, it might be doing too much with here and here. Um, I might think of a hairstyle. I don't want to twist it and I don't want to straighten it. I want to keep it in its natural state. Not straightened, not blown out. Um, I don't know. So please help if you know any ideas. My hair isn't that long. But of course by the end it will be. Let me show you how long it is. Because y'all be trying to give me ideas of stuff and they don't even know how long my hair is. This is the, f this is the front side right there. And the back. Oh, I got a hair in the back is pretty long this has my shoulder blade and the middle is pretty long too so yeah okay love you guys this is